Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Living in Denver. Today, we'll be sharing with you three reasons why a lot of people are actually choosing not to live in Denver in 2024. Got a lot of interesting stuff to share with you today. Looking forward to it. Stay tuned. All right, so as I said, today is gonna to be all about three reasons why a lot of people are actually choosing not to move to Denver, Colorado in 2024. You know, this may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but what I'm actually referring to here is just Denver proper, the city itself of Denver. So a lot of people are actually choosing to live in other parts near Denver, some of the suburbs and just areas surrounding Denver. And I think that's something that's gonna to continue to happen in the years to come. So I'm excited to share three specific reasons why this is happening in 2024. But before we get started, guys, as always, my name is Adam, licensed realtor here in Denver, Colorado. And I love making videos just like this one. But what I really enjoy, just connecting with viewers like yourselves, people that are just considering moving here to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. You guys could please hit that like and the subscribe button. I release new videos just like this every week. But even more importantly, Hit that phone number down below. You can shoot me an email, text, phone, whatever's most convenient for you. We'd love to connect with you. You can set up a 30 minute strategy session and just find out a few different ways that hopefully I can provide value for you today, regardless of whether or not you're seriously looking to move to Denver right now. So let's go ahead and get started though. Again, guys, I'm gonna share with you three reasons why a lot of people are choosing not to live in the actual city of Denver, Colorado. Let's go. All right, so I have a lot of clients right now that are moving from out of state to Denver, Colorado. A lot of the big cities, Chicago, California, even just people throughout different parts of Texas and Florida. And for some reason, go figure, they love Colorado and I don't blame them. I'm a 40 year Colorado native and there's obviously a ton of reasons why people choose to move here to Denver, Colorado. But specifically today, I wanna to talk about how a lot of these places that people are moving from, maybe this is one of the places that you're currently living. A lot of these are bigger urban type environments, big cities. With big cities, you know, there's a lot of things that people are accustomed to, traffic, lots of people, you know, just some of those um, nuances of living in a big city. And when they're coming out to Colorado, specifically Denver, a lot of times they wanna try and mix it up and not have to deal with some of those same challenges they had before back in those big city areas. So I'm gonna share with you guys three reasons why I think a lot of people are actually choosing some of the suburbs surrounding Denver as opposed to actually moving to Denver. Show you guys a map really quick. When you look at the city of Denver, there's obviously a lot of different areas, you know, north, south, east, and west. Some of the most popular areas are, so for example, on the western side with Highlands and Sloan's Lake. There's also just the center of downtown Denver near Union Station. And then there's also some areas slightly to the east and also a little bit to the north and south that are still within the city of Denver. A lot of great areas in Denver. However, a lot of people are still choosing to find more of the suburbs and those surrounding areas as a higher preference for places to consider buying a home. So number one, the first of these three things I'm gonna talk about today, the first reason why a lot of people are doing so, choosing to live outside of Denver, is just gonna be that peace and quiet. Kind of continuing on with what I've just been talking about, a lot of people really like to have a home base, a place that just doesn't have that same level of congestion and traffic and just craziness, hubbub going on throughout the day. Um, and a lot of people prefer to live in somewhere where they don't have to deal with that. So there's a lot of different suburbs and areas surrounding Denver that are great if that's, if that's you that I'm talking to. For example, myself, I actually used to live in Denver Sloan's Lake Highlands area, beautiful part of Denver. And actually it was just ranked in a Zillow article. I actually did a video on this recently, if you look above here, all about the top five most expensive zip codes in Denver. And at the top of this list was this Highlands Sloan's Lake area. So it's a great place. One thing though, however, about this area is that there is just a lot of people. And one thing that a reason, a personal story I'll share with you of why I actually chose to leave this part of Denver was just the, not the crime, but just the homeless population and just the, the, the lack of just really feeling kind of at home and comfortable and just in a place where I could kind of let 
my guard down and feel totally relaxed. You know, at the last few years that I was living over in this area, it got to the point where it got pretty substantial where, you know, every time I got in my car, there would be, you know, potentially people, you know, just kind of hanging out on the sidewalks or just kind of the areas around my car. You know, some of these maybe were people that were homeless or just people that didn't have a job and were just kind of loitering around the area. And this is even in a very expensive, nice part of Sloan Lake and Highlands. So it really has gotten to a point where pretty much in any part of Denver, you're going to be able to, you know, unfortunately see some of that going on. And that's the case most likely in any major city now in the entire United States. But one thing that I think you can really um, have a little bit more control over is if you choose to live in one of these suburbs just outside the city limits. So I moved, for example, to a master plan community called Grant Ranch. And one nice thing about these master plan communities, or at least these suburbs that are just a little bit further away, they don't have the ease of, you know, public transportation being quite as readily available, whether you have these major hubs where you're gonna have a ton of people just kind of congregating and um, kind of being at, in these areas. So I think that if you are somebody that just really wants to get to a place after the end of the long work day where you can just let your guard down and relax, some of these suburbs might be a better option for you. One thing I will say though, there are still some parts of actual Denver that are still obviously beautiful, very nice parts of town. Some of the most popular in all of the state. Washington Park is another example of this where it's a beautiful part of Denver. And you know, as long as you just kind of have a good setup with your house with, you know, a fenced in yard and you're just on a street where people are, you know, mindful and taking care of everybody's yard and keeping an eye on each other, you know, you're gonna have a very limited amount of this. So I don't want this to be a, a frightening topic today, but I think it is very important to at least mention and make it very publicly known that, you know, when you are in the city of Denver, it's much more likely that you are gonna have different parts of town that are gonna have some of this type of stuff going on. And again, that's with any major city, but I think with Denver, we're really starting to notice it in the last couple of years. So um, one reason, number one, the first reason I'm sharing with you today and just why people might prefer to be in one of these suburbs instead of in Denver, is just gonna be that peace and quiet and just a little bit more sense of just relaxed environment when you get home and are just able to, uh, truly, you know, lay your, lay your guard down and relax. So that's number one. Pausing the video for two seconds, just wanna remind you, my name is Adam Lang. I'm a licensed realtor here in Denver, Colorado. Love connecting with viewers just like yourselves, providing value in any way that I can. So that phone number, email, all that info that's popping up down below, would love to connect with you. So please reach out. And don't forget that like and that subscribe button, hit that as well, please. Every week I have new videos just like this. I wanna make sure you're the first ones to receive them. But for now, let's get back to the rest of the video. So going right into number two, the second one is just gonna be the size of your yard and even just kind of that privacy piece. So similar to what we talked about with just the, the first point that I made, when it comes to just your size of your yard and also just that privacy, same thing. You know, Denver is a very developed city and with that comes a lot of neighborhoods that have very old homes, you know, smaller lot sizes, and they're just in a very condensed area where it's much more difficult to find homes that have a larger lot with more of that privacy. Um, I will say though, that since some of these neighborhoods are very established and old, there are beautiful mature trees and you definitely have some neighborhoods that have great privacy. With that though, comes a very, very steep price tag. So as one example for this, my girlfriend lives over in the Cherry Creek area and we occasionally will go for walks in some of the neighborhoods surrounding that area. One of these is an area called Country Club and Country Club is beautiful. We're talking three, four, five million dollar plus homes, you know, acre plus lots, incredible mature trees surrounding the properties. So you have that in Denver. However, it's much more common to be in parts of Denver where you're gonna have more of these 1900s bungalows, smaller 800 to 1200 square foot homes, smaller lot sizes, and you're just not gonna have that same level of privacy that you would, again, if you went into one of these suburbs surrounding Denver, such as what I mentioned earlier with Grant Ranch or any other sort of neighborhood that's more of a suburb where you have you know wider streets, larger lots, and just newer homes. So it's one of these give and takes. You know, There's obviously great pros and cons to both of these options, and it just depends on what's most important to you. So, you know, as a 40 year plus Colorado native. I have a lot of great friends that I grew up with that live in both of these types of environments and also both of these types of environments. I know people that have young families that are, for example, in these areas in the heart of Denver and they love it. They would never change where they live for anything. So you, regardless, you can find a great option for you, whether it be in Denver or in one of these surrounding areas. But I do think it's important to consider um, that if you are looking in Denver, the lot sizes are gonna be a little bit more challenging to find with more privacy and larger size 
size. And if you are gonna be able to find those, it's gonna come with a price tag. Um, I will also just say that in Denver, one thing that you really take advantage of if you do live in Denver is gonna be the parks. So, you know, for example, Washington Park is one of the most popular parks in all of Denver. It's right in the heart of Denver. And it just means that, you know, when you get home, you might have a very small lot that your home itself is on, but hopefully you're in a uh, location where you're only a block or two away from one of these big community parks, such as Wash Park. And then that's where you can go to get that extra level of privacy and maybe not personal privacy, but at least just have that extra level of um, just space and be able to kind of get your own space in the park and take your dog out and just relax and enjoy that side of uh, Denver, which depending on what part of suburb, if you are living outside of Denver, may or may not be as readily available. So this is one way that a lot of my friends that live in the downtown Denver or just that central core of Denver, they're still able to enjoy a lot of that open space, but it just means they need to go to one of these, you know, very popular parks. My top three parks, if you're just curious about what some of the best ones to check out are, definitely Wash Park, also Sloan's Lake, and then the third one would be City Park. City Park is right next to the Denver Zoo. It's got great views of the Denver skyline. And I haven't really talked about City Park quite as much in my videos, so I'll be sure to do a special exclusive video just on City Park here in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. All right, and then my third and final reason why a lot of people decide that they just don't want to live in the actual city of Denver and they would prefer to live in one of these surrounding suburbs is going to be just the access to the mountains and just that outdoor lifestyle. So, you know, obviously there's people that live in Denver that are very outdoor outdoorsy and love getting up to the mountains or just getting into that open space as often as they possibly can. And it's very doable. No matter where you live in Denver, you're always within a 30 minute, I would say 30 minute, uh, maybe 40 minutes at the very most, but within a 30 minute drive of getting pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, if that's what your goal is to accomplish. However, if it's something you want to do on a consistent, you know, maybe even daily basis, you know, your weeknight routine is taking your dog off leash, you know, and just enjoying getting out somewhere where you really aren't going to see anybody, you may want to consider some of these suburbs as opposed to living in Denver. If you are living in Denver, it is going to require you just to commit a little bit of time commuting to and from where you live. And depending on, you know, that time of day, especially at that five o'clock hour, some of the major highways can get quite bogged down. Now, Sixth Avenue would be one that you would be frequently taking if you live in Denver and you want to get out west to the western slope. You know, Sixth Avenue at 5 p.m. can be a nightmare. So just have to take that also into consideration. You know, Denver is continuing to get busier and busier. More and more people are finding out about this beautiful place in the country that we live. And with that comes more and more traffic. So things like this that used to not really be that big of a deal, not really much of a consideration for my clients. Today, you really do have to start thinking about some of this stuff if it's a big part of your daily or your weekly routine enough to affect where you want to, you know, have your home be located in. So I would say that if you do want to be very close to the mountains and just really enjoy that little bit more easier access, being on one of the suburbs to the west or even just barely to the south of Denver would be your best bet in my opinion. So some of those areas would be Wheat Ridge, Lakewood, Golden, even parts of Littleton. Or if you want to even go a little bit north, you could also check out Arvada. I would say Boulder as well, but Boulder is really far enough away where you're going to most likely when you come out here, if you haven't already, understand that Boulder is a kind of a whole separate animal. It's a whole separate area that you're going to kind of know right off the bat if you want to be in Boulder or if you want to be in Denver and just maybe occasionally go up to Boulder. But I would recommend personally, Lakewood and Wee Bridge is two of my favorites. They've got a ton of great options for housing as far as value add opportunities, good deals out there in those two areas. And also they're just on that Western side of Denver. So you're able to easily hop on some of the highways within 10 or 15 minutes, get to a lot of these great hiking trails, biking, and just all sorts of good stuff. Also some of my favorite golf courses are located in this Western side of Denver. So as we get into summertime and the fall, my two favorite seasons for golf, you're very easy access within a 5, 10, maybe 15 minute drive to some amazing golf courses. For any of my golfers out there, one that I'll recommend you check out is Fossil Trace. It is an incredible golf course that's actually in Golden, but it has some great history behind it and some amazing views and very, very well kept greens and fairways. So check out Fossil Trace if you haven't been to that course yet. And if you're looking for a foursome, you know who to call. Give me a ring. All right, so there you have it. Pretty quick and easy episode this week. Just wanted to share with you guys, again, three reasons why a lot of people initially think they might be considering the actual city of Denver as a place to call home, but they end up deciding that some of these surrounding suburbs are a better bet for them. So maybe this maybe uh, would have changed your opinion up a little bit. If it did, 
I would love the opportunity just to kind of share a little bit more personal experience with you. I grew up my entire life on this western side of Denver in Wheat Ridge and Lakewood and Littleton. So uh, a lot of stories to share and just can uh, definitely provide a lot of value if that is you that might be considering this side of Denver. But for today, guys, just want to remind you, hit that phone number, that email, whatever's most convenient for you. Give me a shout. I'd love to connect and just provide value in any way that I can. You don't have to meet, it doesn't have to mean that you're moving here next week or next month, but I, bet, I guarantee you that there's a few different places that I can hopefully share with you that you might not know about yet and add value in any way that I can. And also don't forget, hit that like and the subscribe. Make sure you guys are the first to receive every new video I release. I release two videos every single week, different parts of town, different aspects of living in the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. Until next week, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to sharing more about this beautiful city with you then. Bye.